SPS, like I said, our number one. We've seen him time and time again. Very solid forest burn. Very good at using his smoke to either camp someone out in a way, or but he usually uses it more to distract people, as forest burn's kind of well known to do. A lot of times we'll see him go into a big cloud of smoke and we really don't know where he's at because only he knows where he's at. Because it's really hard to understand what SBS is doing because he always does something like that. Alright, so right now, PK's up with a little bit of a percent lead. Looks like he's been getting some conversions, but... Oh, he misses the kill, which was... That was a really good air dodge by SBS. Alright, so I got some neutral going on. Very nice parry. I think he understood that all PK's really could have done is come down with an aerial or empty hop, so... That was a pretty safe parry. Up air. Oh, doesn't get the neutral B or up, up smash. Ooh, just kind of charges it, hoping SPS runs into it. SPS is not going to run into that. Hitting some nares, but not quite getting the juicy hitbox he wants that sends him into a combo situation. Tries to run in with a Hail Mary down air, just kind of misses because PK spaces around him. So, PK's just kind of throwing out a lot of, uh, not quite Hail Mary smash attacks. Well, uh, well that one worked. Either it was Hail Mary or not, it worked. But um, he's still got a lot of smash attacks kind of just uh, reading that SBS is going to come in, which a lot of times SBS is not just running into him. SBS already understands what when he wants to come in and when he doesn't. So you kind of have to make sure you pick your spots better. But granted, PK's, PK's hit it, and he's hitting this combo, so... Ooh, very nice combo so far. Gets a nice hitbox down air. Oh, but SPS responds? Nope. Uh, oh, never mind. Just kidding. SPS keeps going. Very nice parry into the squaw. Alright, it doesn't quite kill. doesn't even get into a kill, I should say. Ooh, very nice nair by SPS. Didn't quite fall up off of it past that forward air, but it was still really well positioned. SPS has really uh, sneaky uh, tricks with recovering with his clone. He loves to throw out a clone in a spot where, because you can, uh, as far as I understand, the chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but with Forest Burn, you can uh, control, in a way, which side your clone comes out, which side it doesn't come out. So because of that, SPS makes it really tricky and kind of mixes up which, which way he sends his clone. So that it makes it a lot harder to edge guard. You have to understand which clone he's going to send out, which I actually not even understand. You just have to read it. So PK has a decent lead right now. He's got some percent on him, and he lets kind of he kind of lets SPS get a full charge. He didn't really have he had his uh, he had his forward be already out. So I like the smoke. These choices of smoke by um, SPS. He's uh, he's really picking good times to um, when to breathe in because he knows that he has time to get away. And sometimes he knows when he doesn't have the time to get in. And right now, PKs is looking like he wants to close this out, but he's fishing through smash attacks really hard. Is he going to hit this follow-up? Alright, so he avoids the tornado. Ooh, that air misses, and PKs gets a conversion into up smash. Hey, Zach. Zach, you want on? All right, so we got Zora coming on on the mic. So you missed um, PKs taking game one. Oh, jeez, PKs taking game one's a pretty big deal. Yeah, pretty big deal. Um, he's All been right. really, he's been doing a decent job. One thing I've seen that PKs has gotten better at is converting into kills. That's pretty good, and uh, that's it, kind of important with Raster. Yeah. He's a character that does, gets a ton of free wins, neutral, gets a lot of damage out of it. But if he can't close out a stock, it might as well be Smash Fortune. Yeah. All right, so. Even even uh, percent right now. Uh, oh, very nice fair. I like that he fared into SBS's space because SBS was very clearly not going to go anywhere. He kind of just did a committal jump. And Makes SBS sense. just calls it out. Or, I mean, sorry, PKs calls it out. Yeah, I mean, if your opponent's empty hopping a lot, and you'll see that from a lot of fours, burn, they want to get an air, bear, bear, whatever. They want to get something started, right? And you'll see a lot of them throw some empty hops to kind of fade out parries. If you're smart about it, you can know when an empty hop's coming and just get a free punish. Absolutely. Speaking Ooh. of free punish... That first stock melted from the center of the stage with that back air. Yeah. Jeez. Ooh, we got a nice conversion going on here. 34%, not too bad. Um, Raster sometimes seems kind of hard to combo because he's kind of light, but he's also... It depends on the DI. I've, I've had trouble sometimes DI, uh, comboing Rasters at DI out. It be a little tricky, and it's earlier percents than you'd expect when... Uh, when he starts to fly pretty far away from him. 
All right, the was question was, was that his clone? Nope, that was FPS. Oh, Ooh, doesn't hit the tech on the down smash. This is looking uh, pretty good for Ryan. He's uh, it's yeah. not, uh, it's not an unwinnable game right now, right? Sixty percent is not much of a lead, especially with Raster. He can really get damage out fast. Oh I yeah. I love when you parry Raster side. Oh, I it's love so it. So silly, with just pegs him and heads like ah, okay. He's like, all right, I guess that wasn't good save. Yep, it's not really a, a big deal, but it's kind of like a ow. It's just kind of a wake up call. Yep. Especially if you parry their first side B. I've noticed that whenever I play, yeah, whenever I play any raster online and I parry their side B first right off the gate, they get a lot more cautious of when they throw it out. So, however, PK's not really phased by the parrying of his uh, forward B. He just still gets away from it, and he gets the stock. So, SPS seems to struggle to get this stock. I think he just needs a good conversion. But SPS, or sorry, uh, PK yeah. is DIing in a way that, like. It's, it's weird. He, he knows what SPS wants him to do, and he's just a fool. It, yeah. It's weird, because we were talking about earlier that that's one of the weaknesses of Raster, that he has a hard time closing that stocks. But here we see just him being really good at avoiding the kill moves, and that was one of them there. Yeah, he didn't quite avoid that one, but, no. <laughs> but hey, you know, but law of averages, law of averages. <laughs> he got some damage in too, so, and a little bit of damage can go a long way here. Ooh, Already he, he's still getting 56%. 56% is pretty nice against Forsburn, you know, I mean. Oh gosh, 71. It's uh, some pretty heavy damage going out here. Fair but city. You gotta get caught with that coin. Oh wow, that almost traded with a bear. That could have been really bad for uh, for DKs. All right, so is SPS gonna clutch this out? He's he's get he's been he's had the momentum for these past few seconds. He's and been. This is oh, oh. Perry's back. Very nice. This is a super even game. Uh, honestly, Raster dies so early that I, I would say SPS is in the lead. One yeah. good bear. That's it. One good bear. Now we'll take it too. Yes, but also keep in mind Raster's kill power. It's true. Raster lands a like good read. He might be dead. As if you're at this for something inside. Like a good, ooh, good clap, for example. This is a tense situation as Make Cake's gonna close this out. That is really smart. Make him burn his, uh, make him burn his smoke. Yeah. Because otherwise you're gonna get void air the buster. I don't know when that stops being true, but it's scary. Wow, we call it! He gets out. the squaw, wow. SBS is currently 0 2. Wow. Is... PK showing up. That oh, wait, are we gonna see a character kind of pick is the question. I think we might see Craig. We might, uh, yeah, I was about know. to say, or we might see Edelus. You're playing with our heart here. You're also hovering over He's playing so. Edelus. Not so, just any Edelus, King Edelus. Yes. So, I think this is more of a personal counterfeit because PKX has talked a lot how much he doesn't like this matchup and has had a personal demon with, the, ooh, this is really suspect. Oh, but he gets the tech, so that's good. All right, so here's what I here's what I want to see from SPS with this character counter pick. I want to see confidence because what happens a lot, at least maybe in my experience and other people's experience, when you counter pick a character like this, especially one that SPS is Edelus is not a joke by any means. No, but I wouldn't say it's his best secondary by any means. I think his Crag and his Orcane are definitely better, and. Which can cause some confidence, a lack of confidence. But that happens to me sometimes when I counterpick second. Oh, I totally get that. And it, it's warranted. It's warranted to, to be a little concerned, right? Because it's it's not easy. When you're playing yeah. characters like that, it's, it's not easy at all. Yeah, but if you're going to... Part of part of my mentality wants to say, like, if you're going to do a counterpick, you should be confident in it. <laughs> or else that's heavily going to affect the match. But, but the thing is, we're saying all this, but it's, it's looking pretty confident. It's looking pretty good, but that being said... What's the uh, the famous line? Edless starts the game at six stops due to armor and stuff. Like Edless and Craig, basically. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of started that from. Well, I didn't from, start was it. Was it from PM or from melee? From melee, I say the joke is Samus start, has eight stops. <laughs> and that's definitely true for uh, for Edless. He's yeah. looking at a uh, 187. Still pretty healthy. Still pretty healthy. Yeah. So he's lost his first stock and he's on track to lose the second one, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Out of, out of six. Yes. So I don't think SPS is going to go for armor anymore. Oh, just kidding. Why not? Like, Which, why not? <laughs> I mean, he maybe could have gone for a follow-up and maybe killed, but I also can kind of see the logic behind this because now he gets a parry and the kill. And, and he gets more armor. armor. This Which, is a scary spot to be if you are in Ryan's shoes. Well, yeah, because what are you going to do against this freaking Edelus that's this just living big, forever? Big, cold bear. And also, just to mention, like, even when he doesn't have armor, PKX isn't finding the kill. 
Like he's struggling to, and he gets armor again. Banted, yeah, I was about to say, I, I any good. Kinda... <laughs> I'm not surprised. This is Aramada. Any good kill move, even with armor, is going to kill with that percent. He's getting low percent armor, he's going to get rid of it, yeah. Yeah, he's just going to throw it out just for free armor. Just oh, for free, uh, free edge Helps the edge so, guard. Gosh, that was rough. That was rough. Um, but, Air uh, Armada. We get, a counter pick. we get two counter picks from Ryan. Yeah. The I question, don't agree with this. I think Abs is a good idea here. He has a good Abs. I uh, no, actually, I think he should stay. I think he Ooh. should stick to his guns. I I don't think this is the time to counter pick a secondary of your own, especially when I think if we were to put a hypothetical P Cakes Absa versus SBS Edelus, I think SBS's Edelus is far more favored. Even if the matchup's better for him, I still think it's better for P Cakes to stay Raster. Okay, I can respect I, that. Because if you think about it, the battle of the secondaries, if anyone in Arizona wants to play the battle of secondaries against SBS, I'd gladly welcome them to do that. Because yeah, I don't think it's going to work too well for them. It's, it's rough. It's rough. Maze versus secondaries is doable. And even yeah. that in total. <laughs> Yeah. But not to count Ryan out anywhere close to being out. He took two games on this man's uh, main. main. So if anyone can do this, it's him. And this is the best stage he could ask for. I truly believe. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Jeez. Very nice. Hard called him out. I was going to say, and I feel like I'm pretty spot on here with this. If anyone is going to be able to take out SBS's secondary, it's the man who could take out his main. Sure. Maybe. Oh gosh! Also, so like, this is a great stage. Yeah. So like I like I said, you know, I think I don't think SBS did this as a character counter pick for the matchup because I think it was. I agree with you. I think it's totally a personality counter. Yeah, because because like if you think about it, if you're if you can play like SBS is pretty infamous for being able to play just about any character, right? And he can counter pick any character he wants. And he's playing against a raster. Do you think his first pick, just off of character matchup alone, is Edelus? Oh, of course. No. Like, I would. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> no. I think he would go, like, I don't know, Arcane, maybe Abza. Especially because his Arcane is quite good. Yeah, his Arcane's nuts. I'm surprised we're not seeing him. I, I did, too. He was playing my heart back over and over. And the thing is, I know he's confident about his Arcane. Because he's he said he will play Arcane against me if we play. So I know he's confident. That first off was looking great for him, but now it's looking kind of as against his favor. And SBS armor still has armor. Is good. And that would have killed without armor, so. Armor is good. Oh! That's not gonna kill him. I don't care though. about your armor. That I was don't care cool. about your armor. Get hit with like eight kill moves in a row. Die. It is so was hard. Is he gonna to convert land. this into a kill? It is so hard to land one kill move with Raster, let alone like six in a row now. Alright, this is gonna be huge if PKs can take this. Somebody that's not even on our PR beating our number one. I honestly and very think. He and has so much potential to make PR this season. Oh, he I think he will be. be. He just I has to be, uh, believe in himself, honestly. Yeah. Oh, but SBS, like, I would love to see you on PR. That being said, you're not 3 0. You're not getting the 3 1. Oh, no. You're getting the no. 3 1. Cry it out, SBS. It's okay. You're around, friends.